hey guys welcome back to my channel it's Nello here as always and you guys I can't even look at myself on the screen because I just look like a different person I look like it feels like I'm looking at a different person so I'm going to be looking into people's eyes aka my lens in this video but anyways um yeah welcome back it's Nello here and today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I have packed in my hospital bag which is right here with me and before I go into showing you guys everything that is in my bag today's video is going to be a collaboration guys so in today's video guys I'm collaborating with two youtubers two youtubers so please 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 make sure to check them out they are Millicent and Favor okay you guys you know with this whole YouTube community thing sometimes because of how often people comment on your videos and how you interact with people you actually feel like you already know them even though you've never met them before and that's how I feel about this people I'm collaborating with today especially Millicent she's just amazing favor is amazing as well and we decided to you know collaborate seeing as three of us are very very pregnant right now <laughs> yeah we were going to do a like a morning routine or night routine but I could not just get myself to do that like even filming this video now is a lot I was supposed to film this video yesterday but I was in the hospital I wasn't feeling too well long story short i'm fine guys i'm fine but yeah today they have they were already like it's fine they will do the collaboration without me but i felt so bad i had to pick myself up from the bed wash my face put on my wig change my top come and sit down to just film this video okay i don't even have any other video planned before the baby comes but we'll see how that goes i might wake up one day and feel like filming but anyways for all of you that have been congratulating me oh i know adana is here no adana is not here i'm still very much pregnant but she'll be here in a matter of days okay that being said um yeah so please 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 make sure to check millicent and favor out their mommy vloggers with amazing kids and pregnant and they don't live in nigeria by the way they don't live in nigeria so it's kind of like a different content that one people are used to on my channel okay because they don't live in nigeria so 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 please guys please 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 check them out subscribe to their channel leave a comment like you guys already know how this is done i beg you in the name of god please 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 go and support their channels okay being said i'm going to go ahead and start showing you guys what i have in my bag in no particular order i'm just going to bring it out as i see it basically and if my camera quality is messed up i don't even know i can't tell by looking at the screen but please forgive me like the setting of this camera just messed up for my like my room review video the camera was looking so bad i wish i used my phone for that video but but yeah i have to manage it till after baby then i'll i'll figure all these things out but anyways let's go ahead so the first set of things i have the first things are um baby clothes and i've decided to go with three outfits i'm sure she won't even need up to three outfits but yeah i'm going with three outfits this looks like a christmas clothes now i'm looking at it and um yeah none of these clothes is brand new just so you people know <laughs> i feel so bad I didn't buy any brand new clothes zero to three months i started from three months and above because i grow this one like so quick but anyways this particular one is newborn it's not even zero to three months so i'm going oh it's so cute i'm going with this outfit right here and i am also going with this outfit this right here is a onesie and the trouser just look at how tiny like it is so tiny this is um size zero to one month this is h&m zero to one month so so like i like h&m because they actually have zero to one month one to two months two to three months you know things like that so this is zero to one month and it's just so freaking adorable i feel like she's going to come back home in this outfit and i also have something like that again um yeah the same zero to one month in another color so those are the three outfits i'll be going to the hospital with okay here i have this socks this shoe socks i don't even know if she's going to wear but i have this i hope you guys are seeing these things very well so i have this shoe socks and then i equally have socks i packed three pairs of socks this one is just white this is light pink and this is gray i hope you guys can see then i also have some meetings um some sorry some um uh, what's it called taps or hats or whatever I just have three here. This is a set of three. It came together 
so I just packed the three then the next thing here is some uh, what's it called wash clothes I have five here with me sometimes to be honest when they are feeding I just place this on their body like if I don't have any beep around or just use it to clean it they spill something it's sure very very useful so I packed five here with me and also I have um, some bibs I packed five as well and these bibs are the one that um, one of like my subscribers gifted me the God's family if you guys remember that video um, it was a set of five so I packed the five here with me it's going to the hospital and I also have some meetings for her hands um, in Nigeria we don't really need this a whole lot even hard to be honest the weather is not really that cold but this is just for protection not for the weather anyways for protection from them scratching their face that first few days but but yeah I have some meetings here with me this is the design very cute I also have some receiving blankets I just packed two the hospital usually have blankets and stuff like that anyways but I just packed two because I want her to look cute I'm sure the hospital one is going to be very ugly so I packed two of this receiving blanket and one thick blanket if you guys remember from uh, my video where I did the unboxing these things were there um, yeah this one is pink inside everything is pink and it says princess on the body <laughs> then I have this hairband I don't even know why but I have just one I think I need more hairbands because she's a girl I need her to look very girly from the one very cute then um, when it comes to okay am I done with clothing I think that's all for clothing for her then when it comes to feeding I plan to start breastfeeding clearly but as you guys already know I'm not going to be exclusively breastfeeding it means that I'm going to be giving my baby formula from the day she's born like I've done for my other two children so here I also have the milk I've decided to go with SMA gold it looks like this and this is a small one so that it goes into the box even though the cartons I bought is like the big big sizes but anyways the carton I bought more like yeah I've started to go with a small one and this is the same milk I use for Kobe and Kaito like not from birth for them they use them what's the name of that milk self this American brand uh, what's it called <sighs> to be honest I can't even remember right now if I remember I put it on the screen they used it from birth but it was so bad for them but once I got back to Nigeria I switched to SMA gold because my mom swore by it and it worked out so well for Kobe and Kaito so Adana is going to be using this as well so she's going to be breastfeeding she wouldn't need much of this because she's still very young clearly but she's going to breastfeed and also take this then um, I also have a bunch of pacifiers I use pacifiers from day one I try to get them to pacifiers I cannot live life without pacifiers okay these things are lifesavers you guys this pacifier I have different types here just in case she rejects a certain type then she has options they are lifesavers for me you guys and by the way these things will still be sterilized and packed well put inside like a sterile container or something right now I just put everything in the bag to film this video but yeah pacifiers are lifesavers you guys like my children all use pacifiers I normally stop them at around 18 months from using pacifier just because it helps so much like when they are crying or fuzzy all you have to do is just boom and everybody's fine no more crying no more fuzziness it works like magic and I cannot live without pacifiers like I refuse to bring up my children without pacifiers anyways <laughs> moving on um, the next on my list is this on my list well the next thing in my box is this nipple shield which is basically um let me show you guys what it looks like this is three in one obviously this will still be sterilized before I go and you guys already know that shit. so it, it's basically it looks like this hold on let me show you guys oops so it looks like this so what happens is you just place this on your nipples and your nipples basically go inside this hole and then your baby can suck the milk from this okay from the side you can see that it's very long uh, i hope you guys anyways you guys get what i'm trying to say this just makes it easier for babies that find it hard to latch to latch on very well because my two kids i remember breastfeeding was so painful they, they didn't know how to latch well i know it's something that you practice i mean they got it eventually i guess but i'm not ready for that pain so i always come prepared i bought this for kobe i bought this for kaito um 
I didn't use it that much but it was just good to have just in case so here it is again I'm going to the hospital with it then still on that I'm going to be going to the hospital with my nipple cream I have started using this literally from day one because after the babies breastfeed they leave your nipples very dry and cracky and if you don't use this then you're gonna have a problem eventually okay so better safe than sorry for me at least so yeah i've packed the nipple cream um i also have the baby wipes i'm trying to go with the huggies natural care wipes safe for sensitive skin it's um it's very gentle it doesn't have any scent it's um it doesn't have any fragrance and they made me pick this actually because i've been a papa's girl all this way but um yeah i tried to go with huggies this time around this is what it looks like and this is the wipes so i just packed one of this in the bag for the baby and i also have um diaper uh, rash ointment this is basically to prevent diaper rash from the very first day you guys already saw this in my unboxing it's from a plus d or ad i don't know how it's pronounced but yeah i have this then because i'll be um what's it called giving formula i also have a flask here for hot water so that when we boil the water we'll just put it here this can last like 24 hours so i don't i i, I get to boil water just once a day because it mix it with the room temperature water to give the baby so this is the flask i have um i did say recommended this brand um it's called has or something i don't know how this is pronounced anyways she recommended it that's what she used and i love recommendations because it means that you know it's been used and trusted so i decided to go with the same brand um and also i have a bunch of feeding bottles here with me to be honest because she'll be breastfeeding them formula feeding she probably used two or three of this a day maybe even two and then breastfeed um, the other time because I usually love my babies to get the colostrum as much as people think I don't like breastfeeding at least I like to give them the colostrum and you know some of the breast milk eventually the, before they stop but yeah I have some bottles all these bottles are colic bottles this one have the colic thing inside I don't know if you can see whereas this one doesn't so I wanted the one that worked best for me but I just have I just have them um, I packed more bottles I packed six bottles in case I need more but um, yeah we'll see next on my list from this one is for me is a maternity pad so I have two brands here you guys already are familiar with this comfit right this thing has been around since the beginning of time like I never knew a life where I did not know this pad growing up I remember my mom used to use this pad but anyways um there is this one which is what hospitals in nigeria also use but then when i went shopping i also saw this one that's called nightingale nursing care pad it took me a while to pronounce that word guys but anyways it looks like this is a nursing pad so i just thought okay since it's a nursing pad this might be fine as well but by feeling it i can tell that this one is lighter and this one is definitely very thick so I'm usually not the type to bleed too much and seeing as I'm even doing CS, you know with CS they kind of empty that place <laughs> a lot more than if you do like if you give birth through your vagina. So hopefully I don't get to bleed too much and um, I'll just use this one but in a situation where this is too light then I'll use the other one but I just packed this two for my hospital bag so if I don't like this I'll use this. I have um, like a nightwear that i'm going to be wearing that's what i plan to wear throughout the hospital this is just one right now in this bag but this bag is not complete yet i'm still going to pack another two to make it total of three and this was the one kelly girl bought for me from obodo Ibo, okay <laughs> it's so cute you guys it's just so 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 cute so just like a free night dress as you guys can see so this is what i'm going to be wearing um, once i give birth and um yeah and i'm able to change i don't know when i'll be able to change seeing as a cs you know you don't move immediately but whenever i shower then this is what i'm going to go ahead and put on last but not the least guys is the baby's diaper you guys already know i'm using honest diaper i just mixed and matched it i mixed it up so it's the two two um different colors um i love this diaper so much like I, i've never i've never opened one it's so tiny you guys it's just so freaking tiny and so 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 cute um yeah and it feels so light and so flat i don't want to 
they just took light but anyways we're finishing this video we're already done um yeah i don't want to open it and mess this one up but yeah this is the diaper she's going to be using so i packed it this right here has 40 inside clearly i don't need the 40 but then i don't want to go with too few so i'd rather have a lot than have too few but yeah that basically brings us to the end of this video that is all i have packed in my hospital bag um if you guys think i forgot something please let me know because i don't know i don't think i forgot anything i have everything i need for the baby and myself obviously before i go i'm going to put things like my toothbrush toothpaste sponge um soap cream and um yeah i'm not putting cream or soap and all that for the baby because hospitals they normally have what they use for the day like well the hospital i'm using they have that and um she's probably going to i don't even think she might bath in the hospital i might wait till when i get home then my mom will give her a full-on first bath but We'll see how it goes. But yeah. So that's it, guys. That is what is in my hospital bag. Please don't forget that this video is a collaboration with Favor and Millicent. So please, please, please check their channels out. I'm going to put the link to their videos down below in my description. And um, yeah, please show them some love, comment, like, subscribe. You guys already know. And I don't know what my next video will be. I really have no idea. Like, no single idea <laughs> what my next video will be. But I'm going to try and create content for you guys okay i'm really really going to try if i can and i don't want to take such a long break like if i don't upload from now till i give birth i might not upload like till like december like maybe mid december or something which to me is like no i just no i, do, I don't feel okay doing that but i know no pressure clearly you guys have been so amazing and thank you for sticking with me up until the end of this pregnancy and i can't wait to tell you guys that adana is here i can't wait to tell you show you guys i can't wait to share the video i can't wait to just share the journey with you guys the ending of this journey anyways i'm rambling too much thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next one